In this video, I'm going to talk about three things that you have to be doing before the Easter holidays. So I'm Lewis from Physics Online. Make sure that you do subscribe and follow on YouTube. Now, basically, there are three things I think you should be doing to help you prepare for any exams coming up this summer. The first one, which I'm sure you've probably done by now, is just to make sure you've got your exam timetable so you know exactly which exams you have on which date. So that's something you can easily find on the internet, but that is something that is not going to change. That is a fixed date that you've got to be working towards. So the first thing you need to do, if you haven't already done it, is make sure that you know when each of your exams are going to be. The second thing that you need to think about is having a list of topics that you need to be revising. Now you can, if you're doing physics, go to my website and download some learning checklists for A-level physics. If you're doing AQA physics at GCSE, I also have this whole revision guide that you can download completely for free over at GCSE Physics Online. And again, there's a link up here to take you to that. But effectively what you want is the exam board's specification and ideally printed out so you can physically go through it and tick off the different topics as you're revising them. The other thing you need to use in conjunction with this is the advanced information. And this can help you identify the topics which are definitely going to come up. And also, if you're doing GCSE, some of the topics which will not be assessed, you can get rid of those. And if you've got the specification, you've printed it out, you can use that to help structure your revision. So you make sure that in between now and your real exams, you've covered everything that you could possibly be asked about. And the third thing is if you're not sure about anything, you need to speak to your teachers. Now this might happen in lessons or it might be you can maybe contact your teachers to find a suitable time. Perhaps you don't know exactly which exam board you're studying. Maybe you're not sure if you're doing higher or foundation, or maybe there's something in the specification that you've looked at and you're not sure if that's mentioned in the advanced material. Now, if you've done a bit of preparation, your teachers can see that you're trying hard, and this means that when you break up for Easter, you're not unsure about the kind of work that you might be wanting to catch up on. So, those are my three bits of advice. Find out when your exams are, make sure you have a copy of the specification or a learning checklist so you know exactly what you're going to be assessed on in the exams, and if you're unsure about anything, speak to your teachers many, many weeks before your real exams. If you like anything I'm talking about here, uh, you can of course uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. You can find me over on TikTok. And if you need any support at all for your physics, if that's GCSE or A-level, I do have websites with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. And if you want to access everything you need to get the top grades, if you're pushing for that higher grade, if you want to achieve all that you're capable of, you can sign up for an individual premium plan. And that means you've got 24 hour access to every video that you need. So thank you so much for watching and good luck.